Hello friends, welcome to Learners Planet. Friends, this is our second session for basic concepts of geometry. In the last session, we have discussed about the basic terminologies uh, which we are going to use in geometry. We discussed about lines, segments, rays, and various types of angles. Okay. In this session, we are going to discuss some problems uh, which are based on the basics of geometry. So let's begin the session. Now, in the very first question, we have to name the vertex and sides of the angles. Okay. Here we see P O R. Okay. Here O R is a ray and O P is also a ray and they are meeting at the point O. So what will be the name of the vertex? That is O. So vertex is O and the sides are O P and O R. OP is a ray, OR is also a ray and they are meeting at the point O. Okay. Similarly, we can see over here, GH and GF two rays are meeting at the point G. So G is vertex and GF and GH are rays which uh, are meeting at the point G or we can say these are the sides of this particular angle. Okay. Now here we can see it's JK and JI two rays are meeting at the point J. So J is vertex and JI and JK are the sides. Okay. Similarly over here, D is the vertex and DE and DC two rays are the sides of this particular angle. Okay. Now uh, in this question, we have to name the angles in four ways. Now let's begin. Here we see C, B, A, that is the ray B, C and the ray B, A, they are meeting at the point B. So B can be called as vertex. Now, any angle can be written as by putting the vertex in middle. So it can be written as C, B, A, that is angle C, B, A or angle A, B, C. Okay, we have put the vertex in middle or we can write it as only angle B or here it is 1. So it, we can write it as angle 1 also. So it's angle CBA, ABC, angle B and angle 1. These are the four ways by which we can write this angle. Okay, similarly over here, just put the vertex in middle. It's angle STU. This is the sign uh, by which an angle is presented. So it is S T U or angle U T S or angle T or angle 4. Okay, so it's quite simple. Similarly, you can present this. It is angle H I J or J I H. Angle I or angle 5. Okay. Similarly over here, it's angle C, D, E. Angle E, D, C. Angle 4 or angle D. Okay. I hope it is clear to you. Now in this question, uh, we have to name all the angles that have V as vertex. Okay, let's take this first question. Here the rays are VE, VF and VG. Now, first of all, let's see. Uh, we are getting angle V from the meeting of uh, ray VG and VF. Okay, we are first considering the ray GV, uh, VG and VF. That means this particular angle is being formed. So what we can this angle? It's G V F. So it's angle G V F. Similarly, ray V E and V F are also meeting at vertex V. So further this angle is also formed. So we can call it as F V E angle F V E. Okay. So GVF, this angle that can be 
also known as angle C and this angle F V E is angle 5 now this G V F can be written as F V G also and this F V E can be written as E V F also which we recently discussed that every angle can be written as more than two or three forms okay so uh, it's clear to you just see over here is the ray V L and V K they are meeting at uh, point V or we can say vertex V so it's angle L V K its angle KVL okay similarly its angle KVJ or angle JVK so we are representing this angle uh, in two types and this angle in two types okay so this KVJ is angle 2 also okay and this angle LVK is angle 3 also okay I hope you are clear similarly here it's G V H or I V H now G V H is angle 1 and I V H is angle 2 and it can be known as H V G or it is known as H V I okay so similarly you can do the remaining questions now in this question state if the point uh, if the given point is interior exterior or on the angle okay now we see the angle is formed like this so p is coming inside the angle or we can say it is interior okay so p is interior here p is on the angle here also p is on the angle here also p is on the angle I just take one example when P is exterior on the angle just a moment so here you can see the P the point is exterior of the angle okay now in this question uh, we have to classify the angles as acute obtuse right or straight we have already discussed the definitions of all these angles Acute angles are the angles which lie between 0 to 90. Okay, so acute is from 0 to 90, obtuse is from 90 to 180, right is 90, and straight is 180. Okay, so let's begin to do. Here we can see that this is a right angle that is a 90 degree angle okay or we can uh, also say that this ray is perpendicular to this ray okay so this is a right angle over here if you draw a straight line over here and a straight line over here this complete angle is 90 degree but it is this complete angle is 90 degree but it is less than 90 degree so we can call it as acute angle so it's acute angle okay similarly this is a straight line so it's a straight angle here we can say this is 90 degree and this angle is extra than 90 so it's more than 90 but it is less than 180 so it's a obtuse angle we can call it as an obtuse angle similarly we can say this it's more than 90 but less than 180 so further it is obtuse angle now here 10 degree what 10 degree is it's between 0 to 90 so it's acute angle thirty four degrees what it's between zero to ninety so it's acute I just write a for it it's hundred and eleven that lies between ninety to one eighty so it's obtuse angle thirty one degree further it's between zero to ninety so it's acute ninety is right angle ninety eight it is more than ninety but less than one eighty it's obtuse fifty four it's below ninety so it's 
acute it is also acute it is straight and it is more than 90 but below 180 so it's obtuse so i hope you are clear with the concept of acute obtuse straight and right okay now we have to draw and label an angle that fit uh, this description we have to draw an obtuse angle q okay let's see how do we do it it's a ray it's a ray and further it is also a ray now you can see this angle is an acute angle and this is more than 90 so this complete angle will be an obtuse angle okay now just name it suppose it is q it is p and it is r so p q r is an obtuse angle okay suppose it is t then p q t will be an acute angle and p q r is an obtuse angle okay so an obtuse angle q we have drawn similarly we can draw obtuse angle s r q you just rename it instead of q you just put r over here and s and q so you'll be getting obtuse angle SRQ okay just see suppose it is S it is R and it is Q okay so SR or R, uh, RQ are meeting at the point R R is the vertex and this SRQ is an obtuse angle okay which can also be written as angle R angle R obtuse okay so are you clear now we have to draw an acute angle ABC so let's do it just draw a ray this is a right angle and now we are making an angle below 90 that's this so let's name it it's a it's b and it is c suppose it is d now angle d b c is 90 degree this complete angle is 90 degree but angle a b c is this which is less than 90 okay so it will be an acute angle and we can call it as acute angle abc okay similarly acute angle i we draw it suppose this is i this is p this is q this is r okay so it's q i r an acute angle or we can say angle i this particular angle is an acute angle since it is below 90 this complete angle is 90 and it is below 90 so it is an acute angle okay so i hope you are clear now let's draw a right angle w just pick two rays this is first ray and this is second ray here we see the angle between the two rays is 90 degree we can call it as maybe y w z so y w z is an angle with 90 degree or we can call it as a right angle so it's angle w with right angle or 90 degree similarly we can draw a straight angle It's like this so this angle is 180 degree it's I it's H G so angle I H G is an angle with 180 degree or we can call it as 
स्ट्रेट एंगल ओके फ्रेंड्स वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग मोर सच कॉन्सेप्ट इन आर नेक्स्ट सेशन डू रिवाइज दिस सेशन एंड द प्रीवियस सेशन एज वेल बाय